In this video, I'm going to show you how to model dividing a whole number by a fraction. So I'm going to show you actually two different methods. We're going to use the number line and we're also going to use uh, fraction strips. I actually don't like the fraction circles because the circles are hard to draw. So let's start with the number line. And so our first question here, it says that 6 is divided by half. So what we're thinking is that we have 6. So I'm going to go 1. Uh, so we'll start with 0. And we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And what we're doing is we're going to take 6 and we're going to divide it into half parts. So there's our first half part. Actually, I'm going to divide these all up first. And then we have another jump. And we're going to keep jumping by halves all the way until we get to 6. So when we do that, we can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can see that when I have 6, let's say this is 6 meters, and each time I take half meter jumps, I can say that I have to take 12 jumps. I'll put that in brackets. We have to take 12 jumps before we get to 6 meters, if I took half meter jumps. Now let's take a look at the fraction strip. So I'm going to draw six strips. And we're going to divide them into half because it says to divide it into halves. And what we're going to do is I'm going to number them. So how many half strips do I have? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So again, I have 12. This time I can think of them as I have 12 half pieces. All right, what happens? Uh, let's take a look at another example. So this time I have 2, and I'm going to divide by 2 thirds. So I'm going to again start at 0, and this time I actually only need to go 1 and 2. Now, because I want to have 2 third jumps, I need to divide my one into thirds and my next one also into thirds. So you can think of this as there are two meters and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to jump two thirds each time. So I have one two thirds, another two thirds, and a third two thirds. So here I can see that I take three jumps and each jump is going to be a size of two thirds. Now, how do we show that with the strips? So I want to draw three strips. And same as the number line, I'm going to divide this into thirds. And this time, actually, let's think of this as chocolate bars. So if I have, oh, actually, I have a mistake. So let's say there's actually only two chocolate bars. And so I'm going to give the first person two-thirds of one chocolate bar. So person one, I'm going to mark that as person one, they get those two-third pieces. And then the second person is going to get the next two-thirds. So he's going to take one-third of this one and one-third of this one. So these two will give me two-thirds. And then the third person will get those two-thirds of pieces. So here we can say that we can share this with three people. All right, let's take a look at the last question. And we have three divided by two-thirds. Okay, so this time I'm gonna divide my number line into three parts. And then for each, from zero to one, to one to two, and two to three, because my denominator is three, I'm gonna divide this into thirds just like I did for the uh, second question. But this difference is that that one only went up to two. Okay, so again, I'm gonna take two third jumps. So I have one jump, I have a second jump, I have a third jump, I have a fourth jump, and then I have, oh, I have to stop because I'm only allowed to jump three meters. 
But if I actually extended this, I'm going to use a different color, I would end up over here. Okay. Now, that part doesn't matter. The red part doesn't matter. What matters is that I'm only allowed to go up to three meters. So it's kind of like I'm hitting a brick wall. So I can see that I jumped one, two, three, four full jumps. But in my last jump, I was only able to take half of what I was supposed to take. So I actually completed four and a half jumps. Okay. Now let's take a look at what this looks like in terms of the fraction strips. Now again, I'm gonna think of this in terms of chocolate, because we all love chocolate. And I'm gonna divide them into thirds because the denominator is thirds. And it's gonna be similar to the question that we just did. So the first person, they take the first two thirds. The second person, they come around and they make the next two thirds. Okay, and the next person takes the next two thirds. The fourth person then comes now, because now we have three pieces, they take the next two thirds. Now the next person comes and they're gonna take this one, but they're technically, they're supposed to take two thirds. So I'm actually gonna draw an imaginary one here. So they would be taking those two thirds, but the fifth person can't take two thirds. They can actually only take half of what they're supposed to take. So we would say that we have one, two, three, and four, Four people get their full share of the two thirds, but the last person only gets half of what they're supposed to be allocated. So why don't you try the next ones on your own?